So higher self and soul alignment, what does it do? It helps to unfold the most optimal, most organic path that is compatible with yourself, with your soul, with your higher self. Okay, this is Mike Sigala from TrueFury.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. So, today we're gonna talk about my method that I use to align with my higher self, to align with my soul plan, to get in the flow of synchronicities. This method is called higher self and soul alignment and this is something that i developed over years and years of practice and experiences and you know learning different tools and um, it really helps me to open organic path follow my passion my purpose align with my higher self you know manifest things in life that are compatible with my soul meet the right people in the right time you know you can use it for many different things and this method is something that i actually teach others when we do one-on-one -on -one coaching so anyone can learn it you can apply it to different things and the really good thing about it is that once you learn the method you can use it throughout your life so once you learn it you just need to know how to do it and you can use it till end of your lifetime. You can also use it to manifest specific things like, for example, relationship that is compatible. You know, you're looking for accommodation, you're looking for a job, you are, you move to a new place and you need some friends, you know, you need to meet new people, you need to heal something, you have some underlying issue maybe you don't even know what's the problem and uh, this method can help you with these things so it's universal and uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it because this is something that really unfolded organically for me throughout you know years and years and years and uh, now it's something that I'm actually teaching others how to do so higher self and soul alignment what does it do it helps to unfold the most optimal, most organic path that is compatible with yourself, with your soul, with your higher self. Everyone is unique. We all have different paths, different gifts, different talents, and everyone's path is unique. And it's important to align with this path. So unfortunately, on planet Earth, we have a lot of false programming that comes from the system you know parents teachers education system social media movie industry whatever it is you know we are being programmed to act behave in a specific ways to desire goals that are maybe coming from ego or you know that are something that you know everyone seems to be doing and you start doing the same thing and it turns out that you are unhappy it wasn't what you expected uh, it's 100 times harder than you thought or it just doesn't fulfill you right so this is an example there is a difference between goals that are compatible with us that are good for us and goals that we desire and are maybe not very good for us so this method helps to align with the right things that are compatible with us that's one thing helps to manifest the right things that are good for us another thing and the more we align with our higher selves and our soul the more organic flow of events start happening right we get synchronicities we meet the right people in the right time we can meet potential romantic relationships that are compatible with us so who is it for 
everyone really but you have to have an open mind because some of the techniques require affirmations or prayer to our higher selves and if you are skeptical about these types of topics or fields then you know it's maybe not for you but anyone can use it as long as you are open-minded you are willing to do some work and you understand the principles so ideally people who are on spiritual path star seeds light workers you know people who are into personal development someone who is open-minded and is willing to do some work and ideally people who are already into spiritual awakening no matter what stage you are in it can be used for many things and um, you know anyone can benefit from it so how it came about um, really it's just through years and years of experiences and you know learning about these different concepts like higher self like soul plan interacting with these fields making mistakes over and over falling into false programming and getting out of false programming so basically trial and error and just um, slowly 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 it started forming you know once you repeat the same mistakes several times you see what's going on you learn from it so this also was guided to me you know i was shown some of the elements of this method from my higher self from my spirit guides and i started noticing patterns not only in myself but also in other people who would follow the principles of this method so this is based on years of research and practice this is not just um, you know something invented overnight it came from many years of uh, experience what are the components of this method so first and the most important is aligning with our higher selves and we do it by asking for help that's one thing ask and you will receive it's important how you ask and what you ask for that's one thing now what is higher self if you don't know i made a bunch of videos already on higher self so you know the link's gonna be in the description if you want to understand the concept better but basically very quickly you are an aspect of your higher self think about your higher self as this ultimate version of you that knows everything about you it's like your super conscious mind and you are now just like this uh, fragment that is has a personality has ego and it's just a very little limited aspect of the bigger part of you same way like every night you go to sleep and you have a dream and in that dream you have your avatar that is like an you know projection of your mind over there kind of limited a little bit now this life that you have now here that personality that ego is just an aspect of bigger version of you so this is in a nutshell really your higher self is you from late seventh or eighth density so this is basically once you go through the whole process of incarnations you know until you get back to your still your form right we are here at third density so we, you are pretty low version of your higher self but basically you know your higher self is like the full ultimate version of you that completed the, the process of a reincarnation on these levels up to eighth density and because and when we're talking about densities and things like that time doesn't work <laughs> we don't have linear time like here so your higher self projects itself into different lifetimes in a way and same way like you project yourself into a dream right and it seems like there is a separate you in a dream but you know when you wake up that you projected yourself there the same thing happens level up and your higher self projects himself or herself into this body now this is in a nutshell but have a look at my previous videos and what happens is that in a way 
your higher self, once it, you are completed, once you are at this level, seventh, eighth density, it can act as a spirit guide, right? So in a way, it's becoming your main spirit guide. And you can ask him or her for guidance. You can get some kind of uh, help, etc. So think about that you have this superhero version of you that knows everything, knows what's the best path for you, knows what's your plan here to do, what are your hidden talents, what are your issues, what are your challenges, you know, it's, it's thousands of times more advanced than you, but it's still you, and you can get help from that element, from that uh, aspect of you. Sounds cool? <laughs> this is what it is. This is how it works. So you can think about it as your intuition as well. But really, because everything is based on free will, you need to ask. You need to tune in to that thing. You need to desire something. And it's very important what you desire because, you know, your higher self wants to help you. But if you start, you know, acting from ego, from programs, from, um, you know, selfish kind of goals, desires, it might just give you warnings. It might show you this is not a good thing for you. You know, so it's very important that we need to understand there is false programming. There are, there are goals that are, you know, coming from somewhere else or like ego based goals. And there are goals that are compatible with us. So this is like one thing here to remember. So the part of this method basically helps you to get guidance and align with your higher self and start, you know, unfolding the path that is organic for you. Why this is important. So let's say you have some kind of pattern that manifests as situation that you always end up in the same scenario. I don't know. You always end up in a relationship that is abusive or your partner left you or whatever, some, some kind of drama. Or you always attract people that uh, use you or don't respect you or you attract job opportunities that are not very good or you always end up without money or whatever it is, whatever pattern that is toxic, is imbalanced, you have, and you don't know what is causing that. What is the root cause? Maybe some kind of physical illness, whatever it is. Sometimes the root cause is very complex and you would not be able to figure out what is the root cause on your own because it might be something that you never even heard of, like or something that you are not able to see in yourself or some kind of, I don't know, ancestral karma, some kind of implant, whatever it is, it can be something that you have no idea about. But there is this thing that is causing the result you are getting. And how would you be able to fix that if you are completely unaware of where even to start? Once you start working with your higher self, your higher self knows what is the, the cause, what is the root cause of the problem, and it might start directing you to a solution. Imagine that. It helps you to align and gives you path, gives you synchronicities. You need to be able to pay attention to these things. Ignore your programs, right? Start listening to the guidance. And then hopefully it's going to unfold, you know, it's a complex process and that's why I teach it, you know, because I've, I've done it many, many times. So that's why I help to analyze, you know, someone's individual circumstances and see uh, what, what they're not doing correctly or what they're maybe doing correctly or how to speed it up, how to open it, etc. Another very important element of this system is aligning with our soul plan. So again, I talk a lot about soul plan. Have a look at my previous videos. But basically, you have a soul plan. 
up to 70% of important events in your life are pre-planned before incarnation. Some people you're gonna meet, you know, very often the very important people in your life are people that you know for a very long time and you've been incarnating together over and over. Roles often change, you know, but very often we go back, we meet again, etc. So we have here, it's like a hybrid kind of scenario where, you know, you have your free will, but you also have certain elements that are already designed in advance to help you to do specific things here. And uh, whatever you chose and whatever was compatible with your nature and with what you've been doing so far. So it's very important to align with the soul plan because everything in your life is designed for this soul plan to unfold properly. So you know, your gifts, your talents, your upbringing, where you were born, you know, your talents, um, your predispositions, people you're gonna meet on your path, many things like that are often designed, not always, but often to help you to do something in your life, whatever it is that you chose before, you know, or and uh, it's important, you still have free will. You can deviate for, from your soul plan, but this is never really a good thing because um, you have conditions to do specific things. And typically these things excite you if they're aligned with the soul plan. So this is another aspect of this system that we teach how to align with higher selves and start fulfilling soul plan. That's second element. So. Another element of this method is to allow synchronicities to unfold and you need to pay attention, you know, because let me give you a quick example. So I had this guy who basically he moved into my house where I was living like in this big house with a couple of people years ago in London and he was very religious. So he would pray, you know, to God ask for help with his issues and basically and he had uh, problems with his temper he was explosive he would shout and this is something that he was aware of that this is a problem and he wanted to fix that his wife left him because of that so he really felt like this is the big issue in his life he wants to fix that so he was praying to have it fixed now what happens is that he attracted me moved into the house that I was renting and uh, you know I felt like wow this is perfect you know I can teach him how to meditate and he gonna be more in control of himself not only I had a perfect tool for him to fix his his challenge I knew someone else who already went through this same path so I had another friend who basically was very similar story to this guy same scenario when they were kids their parents were they their dads were basically like abusing them beating them up they grew up to be aggressive and this other friend he got into meditation and after some time he became more aligned balanced and started controlling his emotions so i felt like this is what i'm gonna teach this guy and you know he just manifested solution right he was praying to have that issue fixed and he manifested the solution. Uh, I can bet it was higher self, it wasn't like God. But basically, you know, he prayed, he got the solution to his problem. Because he was programmed, he did not see the solution. So he basically was like, oh no, I don't want to hear about meditation, blah, 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 this is not going to work. Like, this is some occult knowledge, la 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 la. So imagine that. <laughs> he just manifested the solution and boom, he doesn't even see that. So this is what we're talking about here. You know, you once you start working on the things that we are talking about, you basically also need to pay attention to synchronicities. Okay, so we talked about higher self alignment. We talked about soul plan. We talked about opening to synchronicities and allowing synchronicities to unfold. Another very important thing is karmic work. So 
basically throughout the years you know i've been always like helping people i never thought uh, this is something i gonna use but because i was helping others whether it would be like helping someone in my family with homework or sending money to my mom helping someone to get a job whatever it was it was something that was constant and i started getting guidance in dreams for example and i was being explained that i'm getting guidance because i help i started noticing how some people that i know who would do a lot of charitable work they would start getting guidance in dreams sometimes precognition you know sometimes something's gonna happen tomorrow they get a dream and i was explained that this is linked with me helping others so it's very important that we need to start helping others or environment whatever being selfless and this has to become a common thing that you do regularly not just once in a while or not i do something and i expect something in return but it has to become a practice that you do and what it does it's like a currency you know whenever you need something it comes so i combine all these things together higher self-alignment you know trying to get uh, aligned with the soul plan opening flow of synchronicities and then doing karmic work so let me give you a quick example of how i was able to get what i needed with applying some of these methods for example you know i was in costa rica a couple of years ago i had my last day and this crappy hotel place i was staying and i needed to find an apartment very quickly because i was planning to stay there for several weeks and i didn't have place to stay and i had to find it because that was my last day at the hotel so i asked my higher self to help me with a, an apartment i got out from this place you know started working my laptop and this guy comes over and sells some necklaces and <laughs> normal person would say like mm, i'm not interested you know thank you blah 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 right and the guy would walk away but because i understand a lot of these things and i felt like you know i liked what he was doing because he told me that basically you know he's like traveling south america he makes these necklaces on his own this is how he can support himself blah 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 so i felt like yeah that's really nice story i want to support this guy i want to help this guy not because i like his necklace but because i feel like this guy is just someone who you know is doing something nice and i want to help him so i felt like okay i'm gonna buy a necklace from him as a gift you know and because of that we started talking and he told me about a place nearby where i could rent this place right he was living there <laughs> So if I would be selfish and think like everyone else would think, oh no, thank you, go away, blah, blah, blah. Then that wouldn't unfold. That conversation wouldn't unfold and I wouldn't find out about the place where you know I moved into this place and I stayed there for several weeks afterwards. So you see, this is what I'm talking about. You know, you ask your higher self, but before you're gonna get what you need, maybe you have to do, give something, you know, do a little bit of work before. So this is another element. And the more you combine all these elements, the more you open flow of synchronistic events in your life that are aligned and I give you what you need, what you want in the right moment, in the right time. So another element of this system is meditation and i have my method that i use which is basically like a chakra alignment grounding meditation that i teach and i use and this i, I find it to be the most valuable useful method that i've tried it really helps with many things but for this particular system why this is important because the more we meditate the more we kind of shut down the ego you know the conscious aspect of ourselves and the more we tune into higher self so the more we meditate the more we get ideas guidance from higher selves the more we start getting into the flow of synchronicities as well 
So this is another thing that I teach in this uh, system. So the final element of my method, higher self and soul alignment system, is to recognize blockages, recognize things that are blocking us, that are preventing us from reaching the right goals, the right uh, opening synchronicity, unfolding, manifesting the right things for us and eliminating these elements. So, you know, you might think you're doing everything correctly and somehow it doesn't work the way you thought. Maybe, I don't know, you repeat the same scenario over and over. Or you attract the person that always there are some issues with this. Or, you know, you thought that, you know, something happens, like you start attracting the same kind of scenarios that are toxic, maybe people who treat you not very well maybe partnerships that always have some challenges, maybe jobs, you know, always same kind of scenarios, maybe friends, whatever it is, you know, whatever um, thing you try to manifest, whatever area of life you are focusing on. And sometimes, um, you know, something just doesn't work. So what we try to do is to try to figure out the problem here Sometimes it's linked to ourselves and this is just a manifestation of that. Once we start fixing ourselves, <laughs> that thing starts disappearing. That's often the case. And uh, so that's why, you know, the final element is if there are any kind of issues, blockages or you know, disturbances in the, the, this manifestation process, I try to analyze it with the client on what might be causing that and then fixing that element. And often this has to do with something about us that we need to first clean or heal because that element over there is just a reflection of that's what's going on here. So sometimes, you know, people just uh, block outcomes by some kind of behavior that they have or some, some kind of element that they keep repeating and they don't see that. All right, so this is the summary of the method that I use to help people to get aligned with their higher selves, their soul plans, have more synchronicities, open the organic path for them. I teach this method one-on-one -on -one with my clients. So if you are someone who is interested in learning more about it, you would like to apply it, you would like to know the specifics, the techniques exactly that we use, and you know, hopefully unfold the right organic path for you, help you with aligning with your purpose, get more synchronicities, manifest the right things that are compatible with you. Get in touch. I normally do like an introductory session for free. So you have nothing to lose. We can just have a call and chat and see, you know, if there is anything uh, in your life that I could help with. And uh, just send me an email. It's coaching at truththeory.com. Initial call is free of charge, nothing to lose. And if we decide to work together, um, you know, I'm going to tell you all the details, how it's going to look like, what's the process. But generally, I always try to help people. So, um, you know, initial call is free of charge. And if someone has like financial challenges, whatever, things like that, I always offer discounts as well for like further sessions and things like that. So my goal is always to like help as many people as I can if someone has some kind of, uh, you know, difficulties, whatever. But best way to approach is just send me an email. It's coaching at truefear.com. And hope this resonates. Um, there is more to this whole method. And I would advise people to not just like, um, you know, just take it and start using it yourself without fully understanding all the details. Of course, I mean, you can do whatever you want. All these things that we talked about probably going to help you one way or another, but it's good to understand the details and understand the whole thing well and, and understand how it can unfold in your individual circumstances. So this is why I work with people one on one. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, thank you for watching this episode of True Spirituality and uh, till next time.